Alrighty, you guys, what's going on? It's your boy Crazy Spartan here. Uh, I got roughly like 30 minutes before I go to work, so I'm going ahead and uh, try and crank out this performance review while I can. Uh, and we're going to be reviewing, or I'm going to be doing the performance review on these bad boys right here. This is the Anta KT5. Uh, this is Clay Thompson's fifth signature shoe with Anta. Um, it's probably one of the more better ball shoes I have. And uh, I'm about to tell you why. So, uh, we're going to start off with the traction pattern. So, the traction pattern is sort of like this uh, radial uh, fingerprint, uh, you know, traction here. Very good uh, outdoors. Now, uh, bear in mind, that's really uh, all I play on is outdoor courts. I never really go indoors. Uh, that much because we don't have a lot of courts down here where I stay at that are indoors But this traction right here is crazy uh, It's extra durable rubber uh, I believe a lot of Chinese brand shoes uh, like your um, You know your Anta shoes your way of wage shoes, you know Ling Ning that type of deal They feature like really good uh, rubber on the outsole and I hope you guys enjoy me doing this performance for you outside uh, it's beautiful, but regardless of that, the traction doesn't disappoint, and uh, it's actually really durable. It hasn't worn down a whole lot, uh, so that's good. Uh, the grooves are pretty thick, and uh, the rubber's good, so you should be good outdoors. But indoors, I've heard it sticks really good. Well. The next thing we're going to talk about is the cushioning setup, which uh, they're calling it their A Flash Foam. Uh, it's very nice. Um, you know, it's sort of like a mix between, um, I would categorize it between, you know, Nike's Zoom technology and Adidas's Ultra Boost technology. If you're a heavier guy, you will sink into this foam because on the, um, what is that, the lateral side, or, yeah, the lateral side, it's, uh, you know, got this really soft, pri you know, proprietary foam, I should call it, the A-Flash foam. And then on your medial side, uh, you got this midfoot uh, shank plate right here. And on it, it says, designed for the best shooter in the game. I don't know if that's a shot at my boy Steph Curry or whatever, but hey, Clay is probably the second best shooter of all time. And uh, yeah, really good cushioning setup for a guard. Um, I mean, I like it. Uh, it's very comfortable. Rarely ever will I be dying to take this shoe off just because it's so comfortable. And uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, as far as the materials go, uh, it's kind of like a kind of like a, a mesh, or well, not even a mesh. It's sort of like a knit back by a mesh or whatever else. Uh, this is the third jersey colorway right here. Um, I guess this is just a take on their city edition uniforms that they had for that year, and. Um, it's really freaking dope. It's a really dope colorway. It's got his logo on the front of it. Uh, on the back, you have this big old external heel count over which, uh, I mean, it doesn't really bother me uh, as far as I'm aware. Uh, it's just foam. Uh, it provides some, you know, um, rigidity uh, to, you know, whenever you, you know, to lock down your Achilles or whatever and your heel. But other than that, the materials are really nice. It didn't take long for it to break in at all. Uh, you do have Achilles pillows in here, and they're actually uh, and they're actually really nice too. So there's that. Uh, but as far as the materials go, uh, they're really good. And then obviously you got the the tongue right here, which uh, kind of detaches or whatever else. Uh, you can't remove this tongue, obviously, uh, but. Yeah, so it kind of removes um, on its own. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Sorry for the shoddy camera work. But yeah, and then you got the lacing system in there. And uh, this just helps, you know, uh, I don't know. I guess, I guess it just adds some aesthetics to the shoe. Uh, as far as, the, you know, the ankle support goes, really good. Uh, this is probably one of the best shoes I've had for ankle support uh, in a good while. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my performance review on the Harden Volume 3, go check that out. That's on the channel as well. But, yeah, this shoe is really good when it comes to ankle support. And, uh, you won't have any problems. They do have a low-cut version of this, which I didn't get just because I have ankle problems. 
Uh, you can call me Steph Curry, y'all. You want in the comment section below. But hey, uh, it happens. Uh, but other than that, really good shoe for ankle support. Uh, as far as the weight goes, they're not very, you know, uh, heavy shoes at all. You you really won't notice it on you that much. Uh, so it's very good in that regard. Um, as far as aesthetics go, I actually like them. Uh, I actually like the way they look. Um, you know, they're I can wear them casually. And people will ask me all the time, what are those, what are those? I don't know if they're being funny or if they, you know, they're intrigued by them. But I'm probably the only one where I stay at that has these pair of shoes. So, uh, is it worth it? Yeah, every single penny. Uh, I bought them, I should have told you guys where I bought them at. I bought them on Fumuji Sneaker. Uh, basically, you know, Fumuji, they sell, you know, like Anta and Leaning type shoes or whatever else on their website. So... You know, just type in Fumuji, that's F-A-M-U-G-I, or J-I, my fault. And, uh, you know, they got the, the answers on there, the Clay Thompson's, and, um, you can pick them up. But, regardless of that, I hope you guys enjoyed the performance review on the ATT-5. Uh, it's one of the better ball shoes I've had, other than the Jordan 31, which was nice for me, and the Harden. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to leave that like button. Turn on your post notifications so that way you don't miss a video when I upload. And um, as always, you guys, y'all stay motivated, stay dedicated, always have that mama mentality. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace out.